Hi there. So today I'm going to take this beautiful old Scots pine and repot it into a, a different pot, a more classical style pot. Um, that's going to be a bit more balanced for the for the shape of the tree too. With that leaning angle, this pot doesn't always uh, always support it on the bench. So I'm going to have to rework the um, the root ball as well to make sure that it suits this style of pot and suits the new angle. So I want to walk you through each of the steps that we're going to go through with that today. So this is a, this is a nice old tree, beautiful. Um, its current uh, current pony angle has it very vertical, and I want to try and keep this angle. This is the new angle that I've set for the tree. Uh, it's a uh, it's a beauty, very dense growth, uh, very nice structure. It's starting to develop some nice bark on it as well. So I um, I want to get this into into a new pot now. It's it's the right time. It's time to do it. Okay, so let's get the uh, let's get the tree out of the pot first. Could be very careful not to damage the bark on the tree. Right, so you can see underneath the tree is actually tied into the pot, so I've got to remove those wires first. Put that there. Put on some gloves, protect my hands a little bit. Safety goggles. Time to get the tree out. this side of the root ball than of this side of the root ball. So, be very careful not to damage the bark on the tree. I always find holding the branches underneath can make a big difference. I'll just use a three prong rake and start removing the roots. The root ball starts to sit flatter on that side. So, I'll continue through. Still got the uh, firing wires in here too, which I'll have to remove before I go too much further. Start pruning out some of the old roots. So we're starting to get the root ball down to a flatter level. So it's going to fit nicely when it gets into our new pot. So a bit more work to do, but it's getting there.
And here we have it. That's the boot ball, reworked, pruned back, given its new shape to suit the tree sitting in the angle in on that angle in the pot. So it should be quite nice. I'm quite happy with that so far. So looking good. Time for pot preparation now. See you in a sec. See the pots are ready to go, it's wired, there's base layer of scoria and then there's the soil mix that I'm going to be using for this Scots pine on top of that with a slight elevation on this side of the pot so it'll tilt the tree the angle that I want it to go to. So now it's time for the tree to get secured into the pot. Once I've got it in the correct position and on the correct angle, There you are, the tree gets put into the pot now. Um, obviously I'll put the soil mount onto the, to this side of the, of the tree to push the, uh, the accent of the, of the angle further that way. I've positioned the, the base of the tree slightly off center sort of to push the weight of the distribution that way. I'll just, uh, just give it a quick little tie up, have a look. So before I tie the pot in to secure it for its final positioning, I just want to double check that everything's correct with what I've envisioned for the tree. So it's slightly off center. Got no straight, no, no vertical lines, leading branch out there. Yeah, it's looking good, looking good. I'm just going to work the soil in to the root ball now, just gently.
So there you have it, the change of angle for a Scots pine with repotting into a uh, into a different container depth, fairly significant root removal, securing the tree in the pot, finishing off with a bit of sphagnum on top. I like the new angle now, so I'm pretty happy with that. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.